Hello, well, I thought it'd be a good idea to attack the second bullet lot by Lathams. Um, and uh, this one is the K52, it's a 76 by 15. Um, <clears throat> so I thought we'd have a we'd have a little go of um, maybe have a, this one. Now this one does feel it's actually sticking a little bit. I think it actually needs, even though it's a new lock, I think it's just if it's a bit gritty, it feels like it might need a little bit of uh, lubricant or something in there. Um, all that said, let's have a look at bitting on the key. It's, I think it's a five pin lock, zero cut there. One, two, three, four, maybe one at the very end. Um, unfortunately, that bitting on this key is not that great. So let's uh, see. Oh, let's uh, let's do a bit of an picking in hand instead, shall we? So, start us off. We're going to use the Dangerfield. Which I'm just going to try to alter the lighting level here a little bit. Going to use the Dangerfield Polaris, the same picks that we used last time. I'm actually using no made tension wrench, and you can pick these locks either way. If we go clockwise, it is designed in a way that it it, it slips out and fills up, it slips out and fills up the keyway like that. Excuse the shake. I'm trying to readjust the camera to suit. So let's um let's have a go with the danger field. In fact, I'm gonna pick it counterclockwise. So instantly we're having trouble getting the danger field Bogota in here. It's quite steep peaks on this one, so um I'm just gonna put a bit of a zoom on this. It's got quite deep peaks, so it, it it's having trouble getting in. Even if I try to get it in first, and then I try to put in the uh, tension wrench, it's just just catching, and it, it's just not going to go anywhere. So the the danger field's out. Okay, next up, it's the sparrow's worm. So this one actually does go in, goes in quite nicely, and we can give it a good. A good rate pulse in the tension. Now I've picked this uh, two or three times. I was going to say I tried with this every time, and I only managed once to get it open. I've actually just done it again on camera. Okay, so at least that worked. Although this is really hit and miss. Okay, now we're going to move to the. Um, I'll try the multi-pick DeForest Diamond, sorry DeForest Half Ball and I'm going to put a bit of tension on and I'm just going to go in, try to get this on camera. And the, so I'm just going to show that the, uh, the keyway is a little bit paracentric here and it's finding difficulty getting the it's quite a thick pick past past all the warding and the thinner picks actually have a bit of struggle with that as well. So I'm trying to keep it on camera right zoomed in. So I'm gonna to go to the back actually I think and I'll pick to the front, click, click. So I'm just a bit of tension touching the pins as I make my way forward. Okay, there we go, click there. Just going backwards and forwards over the pins. I think we, uh, actually, I think the warding is the bit that's creating the most difficulty with this.
I think this is the curse of the camera because off camera I got this first time. I'm going to reset that, do it again. It's one of those where you can get clicking as I'm going down the pins. Making my way back up. There you go. Oh, finally got it. There we go. Got an open. Okay, so very quickly, so the video is not too long. I'm going to try my homemade. Um, of this profile in 19,000s. So this time I'm going to actually try the zipping technique. Now, like I said, I've tried three or four times and only once did I get the zipping technique to work. So even this one I think is it's a bit, it's a mess. So I haven't actually got it open with this technique. So I'm going to call this a bit attempt four and it's doesn't oh there we go oh there we go oh, two strokes that time so what open okay so there we go so we got it open with these three oops let me try to get them on camera a bit better there we go DC was able to get it open. So for the Latham's bullet lock, the 76 by 15, the K52. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and stay tuned. At some point, we're going to do some more Latham locks. Bye bye now.